Hey Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzan on MetabolicMasterpiece.com. It's Friday, arm day baby. Gonna be blasting these guns later on tonight. Looking forward to a very focused bicep tricep workout. I'll take you behind the scenes, show you some of the footage from our training today. I'm also gonna hit the gym on my own later this afternoon. Uh, my legs feel pretty recovered right now, so I'm gonna do some hit on the stationary bike. 20 second sprints at a high resistance and then decrease the resistance for recovery um, of 40 seconds. So looking forward to that, I'll also hit some abs and calves probably just prior to the, the sprint intervals there. Um, but right now I'm just about ready to take uh, Chief for a nice 30 minute walk. It just started the rain, so we're gonna get a little bit wet out there. Ah, we could care less, we're gonna enjoy it nonetheless. But first I'm gonna have breakfast. I've got eight whole, eight egg whites, two whole eggs, some yellow peppers, cook that up in a tablespoon of coconut oil. And instead of salsa, I decided to go with some ketchup today, just something, <laughs> that's me getting all, uh, adding some variety to my breakfast here. <laughs> this is pretty typical breakfast for me today. All right, so I had a freaking awesome, awesome calf workout and ab workout for calves. I did some blood flow restriction training. Um, so lightweight uh, on the standing calf raises, aiming for like 20 to 30 reps the first set, then each three more sets around the 15 to 20 rep range, 30 seconds rest between sets, and did some uh, single foot calf presses there. Uh, for abs, I did a, an ab machine, crunch machine, and really focus on kind of the mid and upper abs, and then uh, some knee raises, and some cable twists that you probably would have seen in other videos. I just, I, my workout partner wasn't with me, I didn't record much, but you'll be able to see some of those exercises in previous videos. Um, and cardio, I ended up doing just 10 minutes on stationary bike, 20 minute, 20 second sprints, and 40 second recovery. Um, it's been a great day. I'm feeling freaking awesome, getting a lot of work done. Right now I'm ready for another meal. I've got some leftover basmati rice from last night's chicken dinner, uh, and there's honey garlic sauce on there. Uh, we still have some chicken left over, but I feel like some tuna right now, so all I did was open up a can of tuna and pour it in here with the rice and the honey garlic sauce. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this. I'm not sure how many calories would be in here. If I had to guess, I'd say, I don't know, probably around the 4, 450 range, but that'd just be a complete approximation. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna try to guess. So I'll be back to let you know what I'm having for dinner and then behind the scenes footage of our gun workout later on. Catch you soon. All right, so dinner is leftovers from last night. Five drumsticks, and some basmati rice, and some honey garlic sauce. All right, so grabbing myself a treat, the second box of drumsticks that Shane picked out from yesterday. I think this one is about 320 calories. I'm gonna be training in just over an hour. Hopefully the sugar from this will uh, give me a nice little pump. Chief, you gonna suck back there, you sucky. <laughs> so looking forward to hit those guns tonight, and uh, of course, I'll be having my post-workout shake, a full strength shake afterwards. So I will be uh, catching, uh, touching base with you soon after I enjoy this delicious drumstick. This one's caramel. Yesterday I had the peanut butter one. Good yummy stuff. Catch you soon. All right, so we started our bicep and tricep workout by focusing on the biceps and began with the superset between incline dumbbell curls and the preacher curl. Uh, so here I am using a rotating grip, so neutral grip on the bottom, and then supinate those wrists towards the top. So it's a great stretch in the bottom, great squeeze at the top, uh, making sure I keep the shoulders back and my head back, neck in a neutral position. Just love this exercise. Hits the biceps and the, the brachialis very, very well. So right away, heading over to the preacher curls, the biceps are pre-exhausted, so we're using the easy bar here, a narrow grip. It's getting close to a full stretch there, and just coming up to close to perpendicular to the ground. Again, great stretch. Preacher curl, you're gonna get most of the work is done in that bottom range. So it's a great, great stretch. Uh, it was eight to, uh, eight to 10 reps for the incline curls, and then uh, six to eight reps for the preacher curl here. Ah, struggling, but trying to keep the shoulders back, trying to mainly focus on the biceps, especially in that beginning movement. All right, and then later on we hit our triceps, and uh, one of the exercises we did was rest pause for the uh, lying tricep extension. 
love seeing the detail in Rick's arms here. Again, I gotta mention, 51 years old. <laughs> Just in great, great shape. Just keeps getting better, man. Constant improvements here. So we're aiming for, again, 8 to 10 reps here for the first set. And he's just going to rest it down, take a couple deep breaths, <laughs> shake up those triceps a little bit, and then right back at it, seeing how many more reps he can get. Usually trying to aim for 3 to 5 more repetitions. And then we continue to blast our guns a little bit more and then uh, post-workout shake and uh, just chilled the rest of the evening went and watched a movie relaxed had a great day